Schmink. The edge wall engine. <laughs> that's what it's officially called now. The edge wall engine and the oh yes, that that's exactly what I'm looking for. Actually, that was exactly it. Okay. The edge wall. We'll get the double draw, of course. The Domri. Domroon. The Scuttle Mutt. <laughs> amazing deck alert! Amazing deck alert! There's an amazing new deck, everyone. An amazing new deck. You have to check it out right now. <laughs> Yes, indeed. This deck has, that started off as a troll deck. I don't know if you remember, I created a mono green version of this deck. But now, with the new additions from Eldraine, it seems like Gruul is definitely the way to go. We now got this addition to the deck. Grimrock Knight. Doesn't seem like it would be the best card for this deck, but it's so goddamn good in this deck. First of all, we can target a creature that gets plus two, plus zero. Of course, we're gonna use this in conjunction with Season of Growth so that we draw a card from this, but we can also draw a card from the other side of this card, which is now running Edgewall Innkeeper, which enables us to draw a card when we play the other side, and it makes it so that we don't always need to have a Season of Growth. It's just as good, or maybe not just as good, but it's decently good enough to have edge wall innkeeper to get enough gas to keep going with this deck. Uh, we also include the bone crush giant which is a little bit weird because if we target it with something we will be dealt two damage but the option of killing something with this and also drawing an extra card with the edge wall innkeeper is super duper good and the card in by itself is so good that it kind of makes the deck better just by including it. Uh, we also draw the Arcanist to place things from the graveyard. This is the growth. This is, of course, the cornerstone of the deck. Just play as many targeting things as possible and just draw as many cards as possible. Domris Ambush and Thrash Threat as the removal pieces. And that is pretty much the deck. Speed Panda. Sounds delicious. Sounds absolutely delicious, I say. This hand is amazing. I'm gonna keep it. Absolutely, ridiculously amazing. Innkeepers down. The peasant. They put peasant on this guy. Should be said. It should say human bows. That's what it should say. But sure, we'll uh, we'll have to do with peasant today. Uh, go in. Smack him. The crispy panda. One red mana. Now he has two. We can do anything. And enable all his abilities here. Ooh, that is pretty sweet. I say. My God. Yes, please. Oh, we're gonna kill something in response now? No? No, 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 no. Uh, I guess in that case, we go in with Edge Wall Innkeeper. <laughs> we'll be coming in there for all that damage. Are we gonna receive Crispy Pan? Are we gonna receive that damage? Okay. Well! Rimrock! Barank! Oh, he just takes it though. Okay. Crispy Panda. Is it drawable now? Is it early morning? Yes, it's early morning. You can hear from my voice. Have a morning voice. That's something. Huh? A morning voice. Didn't even know a thing like that even existed. Now. Now I know. <laughs> now I know it exists. It's pretty sweet. Getting the uh, season growth there. Really, really helping out, I must say. Uh, let's see it. Kill this guy, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, innkeeper. Uh, and then... Mm. Yeah, we can search for another, another red source. Play a Rimrock Knight. Rimrock Knight. And draw another card. Oh, another season growth. That's pretty amazing. And another innkeeper, that's also amazing. Man, this deck. This deck is pretty sweet. <laughs> this deck is pretty goddamn sweet, I must say. It wasn't this early in the morning. Or it's not even the morning, as as it always is. It's just <laughs> noon. <laughs> this is my noon. I wake up, have my, my morning voice, and then I just surveil. <laughs> it's dimmer mode when I wake up, it's just surveilling. <laughs> What's going on in this world? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what the frack is going on? Humans. Are we human or are we dancer? That's what I'm wondering when I wake up. Because now I feel more like dancer than, than human. 
wow, we can do so much naughty stuff, sir. Uh, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna put down another edge wall innkeeper. I first we're gonna go in with edge wall innkeeper and grimrock knight. And see if he gracefully receives this damage to his face. Seems like it. They connect, okay. Edge wall innkeeper. Number two. And Grimrock Knight. Let's see here. This can find us. Nah, nah, nah. We were done with the lands. We have the lands now. Stone strength. That's perfect. Okay. Grimrock Knight for double draw. The double draw. Crispy Panda. The double draw. Ah, uh, this pretty sweet. And this guy. Triggering. Scryage. Oh, that's amazing. These Grimrock Knights are amazing in this deck also. <laughs> These are like the MVPs. They do everything. The creatures and they have an, a good ability. And they trigger Edge Wall Innkeeper. Like the ultimate card in this deck. Wow, that's not gonna work, mister. <laughs> that's not gonna work one bit of the bit. Not one bit of the bot. Not one schnilly schnott. Will not work. Simply will not work, mister. Or or uh, kill you with this innkeeper. <laughs> this exact innkeeper I want to kill it with. And uh, yeah, you are very, very dead right now. Got him. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Nice to we'll be our next opponent. I'm slowly waking up here. Slowly. Very, very slowly. Very, 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 very slowly. Very, 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 very slowly. <laughs> Let's see. Do we put on the Dread Horde or the Incubation Druid first? Well, that's always the question, right? Dread Horde or Incubation? Which one is it? Silhanas Wayfinder. Mm, I think now that we have this uh, giant growth, uh, the Dread Horde Arcanist could be pretty sweet. He doesn't die. We get some damage. Some damages. <laughs> okay, so that's Frostlings we're gonna have to deal with with uh, the Bone Crusher Giant, I think. Uh, we can go in with the Dreadlord Arcanist. See if he's willing to block her. He's willing to sacrifice. Oh, he's willing to sacrifice. Oh. Well, he's as cold as ice, but are you willing to sacrifice? And then... I don't think we need another one of those. Put on the Incubation Druid instead. That is much better. Now, the Frostlings is gonna come down. And he is, of course, a tap on the Dread of Rock Nest. Too dangerous, I said. Sure. Well, as it so happens, we have another one. What is this deck? Uh, it is elementals. But, uh, yes, that mister will not be good enough here. Do not think your scrub ways <laughs> works here. Does not. You need big strong card like Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher Giant. <laughs> Crushing all the bones. Crushing all the boners. <laughs> Um, let's see, we can go in with everything, honestly. Can't even adapt the incubation dude. Which is pretty sweet. Wink. Yes. Big spell. Hi. This guy. Big dude. And, uh, what will he block here? What, uh, what will he block? He blocks there. Okay. I'll be able to adapt. The brawl damages. The fairest time twist. Snap it, Snooners! He's gaining three life! <laughs> what's, what's happened this morning? Yesterday I played like the the MLG Pro League and now it's like... <laughs> what the frack? <laughs> what the frack happened? Well, who knows? Who knows, really? But today... It's our day, man. We march forward. We we'll deal with that hero of the glade. Once and for all. We're not gonna stop until we smack him. 
And uh, after we've smacked him, we're not gonna stop either. <laughs> Just gonna continue. For the most part. <laughs> Got him. Own him! <laughs> Mercedes. Mercedes. It would be sweet to have a Mercedes. I'm not talking about the car. I'm talking about... It's a, it's a woman's name. Did you even know that? It's very rare to meet someone named Mercedes. Mercedes. How do you say it in... With, with the, an American accent, I don't know. Uh, this is fine. Give this. Absolutely fine. Numerous. The down edge wall innkeeper. The peasant! Some call him. I would uh, declare you a boss, edge wall innkeeper. You are no longer a peasant. I relieve you of your peasant duties. <laughs> you don't need to. Don't need to do that anymore. Instead. Could be risky if he drops down the uh, thing which has three toughness and everything next turn. Uh, we're gonna do no attacks here. Our edge wall innkeeper is the most important thing we've ever had. If he has a Johnny here, pride mate, and he goes up to 3 3, we can't kill it with the Bone Crusher Giant. So it might have been a mistake by this. Nope. Just as another healer's oak. Well, then it was perfect. That was perfect in every way. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well. Would love to play another season growth. I would also love to have an under un lander. Let's see. I think we're gonna need another green. With this hand. I think what we do, we go in with Edge Wall Innkeeper. Let's see if it blocks. With the sealer sock. He just takes it. Well, in that case. Do I go incubation druid? It would be very sweet to have incubation druid. Okay, we we'll put it down. Uh, not another one. No, no, no. Now we're done with the incubations. Mercedes. You are soon gonna be in trouble. Very soon. Just, just wait one moment. Just wait one moment and you will surely be in trouble. Just have to wait. Little. <laughs> and I will get to you, Mercedes. Ooh, that thing is gonna be huge. Absolutely ridiculously huge. That's one reason to save up this, I guess. We could have killed this. Now it's a 4 4. Well, I guess I'll deal with it though. Uh, we can Giant Growth plus Thrash Threat. Which is pretty good. I think about it. Would be sweet to have the other season go down, but I don't think we can. Uh, I don't think we can wait that long. Ooh, Domri's ambush. That's even better. That's even better, I say. And let's see here. Uh, I think we just march in. The victory march. A bunk. Badunk, badunk. He's down 17, but he has his healer's hawk, sir. Dane Roos, of course. He's gonna take the incubation or the edge wall innkeeper. Yeah, they've seen enough of this guy. <laughs> Way too dangerous. Way too dangerous. Can't handle it. And then, he goes in. For a little smackage, of course. Proper smackage. Oh, wow. Well... I was, guess we still have the uh, the Bone Crusher capability, sir. So we can either kill a Hawk, or we can kill something that it puts down there. It puts down another Ajani, maybe. Prison Realm. Hmm. Okay. And it targets the Incubation. Well, in that case... I'll kill one of your Hawks, at least. And, yep goes away, and then next turn we'll have to get, play the Bone Crush Giant. Unfortunately. Maybe I should have played another Incubation Dude. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Slowly. Whittling away, as I said. Okay, so this guy is pretty insane if we get him down. So let's put him down. And uh, let's scry this guy. I actually could take a forest, honestly. <laughs> I could actually go for a lander. Feel like we've been a little bit low on lands. A little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -mm, just a little bit. <laughs> low on lands. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm, just a little bit. Healer's Hawk. Always. Oh, 
was making him a pacifist. This guy. With all. All of them tricks, huh? And tricks of the tricks. Little tricks of the tricksters. Uh, I think we'll do this and trash that and kill the healers off. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want on offer. Thank you. Smink, smink. And double draw. Thank. And your turn, mister. Mr. Mercedes, I think we're whittling down. We're absolute bare bones here. I think it's gonna be down for the count. Ooh, that is. That's a big dude, though. That's a big, big dude. I can still buff him up, I guess. We don't have much red manas to do this with. Oh, actually, we have enough. It's fine. It's fine, everyone. Have it. Ready to life. And then. And thrash threat twice <laughs> to kill him. There we go. First thrash threat. A little bit of damage there. Second thrash threat. Badum. And the edge wall inkeeper, of course. Oh, we can shuffle it third from the top. That's fine. We'll, uh, we'll defeat it at some point. Down the edge wall. Chink. We threw half our deck. Oh, that's that's exactly what we wanted. Exactly what we want. Man, I love this guy. Grimrock, that's it. Like the best card in the deck. <laughs> Maybe he will be the poster deck, poster boy for this deck only. This deck is pretty sweet. I mean, it was sweet before rotation. Or before, uh, even before this. I think, wow. I had attack or block, yeah, but I can still use the abilities. Johnny. Pride mate. Mm -hmm. It's a pride mate. Hmm, a proud mate, I should say. Let's see. Do this. We buff up the innkeeper to insane stats. The buffest innkeeper you ever saw. And then we tap you. For one manas. It should be a green mana. With stony strength. Schmink! Schmunk! This is pretty sweet. <laughs> I love this part right there. When you get such insane freaking manners. Yep. 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 <laughs> now we have the manners. Now we have the manners, everyone. Let's see. Gonna deal two damage to this. And now, it's time to drop the bombs. The bombs. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Always exactly what we want, weirdly enough. <laughs> uh, we have so goddamn many cards. I think I'll start burning his face. Because <laughs> uh, we have too many cards. We're going to have to discard. <laughs> Okay, sure. I don't want to discard. I want to use every goddamn card in my hand if I can. If I can, I'll use every card. Oh yeah, we, we're, we're done with this. It's amazing that it hasn't scooped yet. That's quite amazing. He's seeing this board and he's like, I have the answer. Oh, maybe yes. Planner cleansing. Could theoretically save him. I don't know. Theoretically. Probably not, but it could. Um, yeah, I mean, we have an absolute gazillion things here. These guys will be coming in. Mm-hmm. And he's not blocking. Well, in that case, it's Wall Innkeeper. Getting buffed. And uh, let's see here. Short. <laughs> this guy. And smack him. And now we can start dropping giants, I think. Dropping down the giants. I don't need more lands. Don't need anything, honestly. <laughs> we have everything. 
I don't know what we're gonna put down even because we have freaking everything. Sure. More bone crush giants. More bone crush giants. More bone crush giants. Sure. Oh, we can't kill him this turn anyways. Just, just freaking pass the turn. <laughs> Got him. Oh my god, we're crushing with this deck. Sork. 70. 8. Snorkel, snorkel. I need the snorkel, snorkel there. Uh, this looks good. I'll give this. Well, give it, give it. Sork 78. Hopefully, it doesn't go turn 1 duress. Turn 2 thought erasure. Then we're in trouble. Takes this and takes this. We have absolutely nothing. But I mean, that's true for many hands. That's why thought erasure is so good. <laughs> because often, when you take one or two things out of the hand, it's not that good anymore. Wow. Get the fire card hand. That's. It's quite ballsy. You have big cojones, fuck 78. I respect you. Actually, I do not respect you. Ooh! <laughs> okay. Steel Overseer. Oh, he might go for some naughty nonsense there. Will he? Will he, though? Hmm. Oh, he puts on that counter. Huh? That counterage. Let me think here. I kind of want to get the uses out of all my cards. I could put down the Grim Knight. Nah, I think we can't do much this turn anyways. So we better... We can just kill one of the Steel Overseers. I think that's the best thing. Best thing we can do here. Um, and then next turn we can play the Grimrock Knight, the Mountain. And we can try threat the steel overs here. I think that's probably the best thing we can do. Wow, we didn't want to count on this or Oh Okay, now I see it. Now I see it. Well well. Let's see here. We can't kill it this time, but we can put down a bone grush giant. It's not the worst. And that's the Dombers Ambush. That's exactly what we need there. We're gonna wait to this. See what it goes for. Sark 78. This is an interesting thing. Oh, he draw, drew the quad seer. Or uh, no, the triple seer. That's pretty sweet, though. That's pretty sweet, I must say. Unfortunately for him, they're all gonna die, but. But that's pretty sweet. Okay, before it's my turn, do I want to do something? I could do Stony Strength. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Twink. Oh! <laughs> That's the bad part about targeting my own guy. I forgot about <laughs> I forgot about that thing. Well Well, I'm sorry, but we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, take a little bit of damage here. It's just how it is. Bunk. <laughs> it's nothing personal, it's just just how it is. Yep. <laughs> It's both good and not good in this deck, is what I can, what I can tell from this. <laughs> There's some anti-combo in here going on, I can tell you that much. That is true, that is true. And, uh, sure, I'm gonna pass the turn. Over to Sark 78. He has a corridor monitor, and now he has the Shamming Suite. This is cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna put down my Grimlock Knight. Finally, be able to fight these guys uh, on the, in a in a better way than taking damage. Okay, so buff you and uh, let's see here. Try to that. Kill off the Shambling Suit, Suit or whatever it's called. Edge Wall Inkeeper. Now we have it. Uh, we're gonna do no attacks here. We're gonna wait. We're gonna clear up the corridor monitor. Let's clear the passage. Clear the way. Man, this is just uh, crushing victory to crushing victory. We're we'll playing against some weird shit there, but. <laughs> but still. It's not often that they want to return this to someone's hand. I guess if you want to go in for three damage. Maybe then. Okay. Uh, let us see here. Let us see. We can do the Grimrock Knight. Buff you up. And now he's 
pretty huge. And then we can do some stony strength. The counter on there. Go on another card. And let's see. A thrash threat. Kill this thing. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty sweet. And let's see here. Sacrifice this. Find another green. Let's see some growth. Man, this deck is super solid right now. It's so goddamn good. I mean, I don't think two damage Stone Cold Serpent is gonna do much. Might as well go in there. Yep, that's fine. I have. <laughs> I have some spares. <laughs> that I can use. The Scuttlebutt. Okay. Uh, well, Edge Wall Inkeeper then. Yeah. Uh, it's so nice that I can just switch to the Edge Wall Engineer if I want to. If I don't have much that can target. Okay, let's go with this. Schmink! The Edge Wall Engine. <laughs> that's what it's officially called now. The Edge Wall Engine and the. Oh, yes. That, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Actually, that was exactly it. Okay. The edge wall. We'll get the double draw, of course. The Domri. Domroon. The Scuttlemutt. <laughs> okay. Okay, we, have, we kind of have the cards now, don't we? We have the cards to defeat him, I think. Oh, Stone is Strength. Sure. Sure, we'll do that in you then. And then we'll pass the turn. After having drawn our entire library. Discard a card, we'll discard it first. I think we're in a pretty good position now. Pretty good position. I think he's gonna concede. I don't think he has any way of getting out of this. I have an absolute million cards here. And he has two cards, three islands. He's facing down the mighty Grimrock Knight and the mighty Edgewall Innkeeper. And these cards were such a good addition to the deck, honestly. These were amazing. In every single way. You're amazing! In every single way! No song <laughs> ever went like this! Mm, okay. Can we kill him this time? Maybe we can kill him this time. We'll try. 18? Can we get 18 damage? <laughs> okay. Own him! Win here, win there, win, win everywhere. <laughs> That's what I feel. I feel like Charlie Sheen when I play this deck. <laughs> I bang 20 gram rocks, that's how we're all winning. <laughs> Are you bipolar? I'm by winning. Ah, that's an old meme. Oh my god, it's 12 years or something. Does that mean you are old, Dark Lord? No. No, 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 that's not what it means. You think that's what it means? You're a scrub. I'm not old. I'm young. I'm young like a flower. <laughs> can a flower be young? Of course a flower can be young. Did you know about flowers? And how young they can be? I knew about flowers. I've observed them. When was the last time you watched a flower? Huh? <laughs> Old Fist Crusader. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we can here. And it will do naughty nonsense. We can pay that life. We can do this thing. We could do a lot of different things here. I think more than anything, I want to grab the Darkest down. We're gonna take some damage, yes. But that is a good card. <laughs> very, very good card, have. Thank you. I'll gladly take that. Let us see here. We can Giant Growth the Dreadlord. We can Domus Ambush. We can do some naughty stuff here. Uh, no locks, no. I'm taking it. Is he gonna buff this? That's very expensive. Okay. That's not very good for you. <coughs> but you're soon gonna find that out. Let's us see here. Um, so here's what we want to do. 
I want to do this on this guy. And then we want to do Domri's ambush. This guy to this guy. And then I want to put down the mountain. And go in with the Dreadnought Arcanist. And then, weirdly enough, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Domris ambush this guy on this guy. This doesn't kill him. I know. But it gives us a counter, which gives us even more mana. Which is very good. Because now, I can tap this dude for a little green. Uh, let's see, where are we? We are in our second main, okay. We got three green. Put down another incubation dude. And you can trash that. The stall pist. Come on! And we don't need another paper passage. That is pretty sweet. I think. I think we won this now. We'll see. He could turn this around. He could turn it around. Unlikely, but he could. This deck is uh, kind of ownage. I've, <laughs> I've taken to playing a lot of ownage deck lately. And I've also played against a lot of weird shit. Both compounding into uh, me winning. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Buff you. Buff you, I say. Buff you. Oh, we can buff him even more. Oh, that's amazing. Okay. Well, I always said you needed some stony strength. More strength! Or strength, I say. <laughs> okay. Well, well, he's kind of huge now, isn't he? I would say you are a huge dude right now. Huge dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go in with this guy. Smack him. We can do... Uh, trash threat. I'm gonna do... Trash threat. Oh, what? Oh, it's just an instant? Oh, I can't place... Oh, I thought I could play the thing where I got a beast. I could not. Well, now I know. Oh, we can kill him, right? We have six manas. No, we can't. We can put down a lot of Grimrock Knights. That's what we can do. An absolute shit ton of Grimrock Knights. Oh, oh, I did get a 4-4. I did get it, okay. I didn't even see this. Okay, we hone him. <laughs> hone him! This is a little bit risky. It all banks on that Edgeshall Innkeeper surviving here. Oh well, we could also have the Dreadnought Arcanist survive, I guess. I guess we could have that. You know. Professor Prime, though. Both. <laughs> There's some good shit there. Wow. He just casually went down to five cards, of course. And then played the Tranquil. Sure, 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 sure. In that case, we we'll go for the edge wall. Edge wall! You're not a peasant anymore. You're a freaky innkeeper. Look at you. You have all the beer in the world. Just sharing. Sharing to the world. Free beer, everyone's best friend. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Put down the Arcanist. Arcanist. The Arcanist. Uh, let's see, what do we do next turn? Do we do Grimrock Knight? Just draw cards? Could do that. Ooh, it's a very time rather loose. It's gonna bounce the roost. Dreadhorde. The Innkeeper! Of course. Ah, that could've been dangerous. He realized as much himself, I think. Mm. I think we drop this down. And... I think we go in with the door Arcanist. Don't have anything in the graveyard, but nothing really we can do with this anyways. I think we just draw a card, put down a, put down a three one. Just can't block. Cycle this. Wink. Grimrock Knight is down. Prison Realm. The Innkeeper. Yeah. And that Innkeeper is way too strong. Way too strong. Well, he's kind of our engine now, so. 
It's too bad that you took it. Uh, well, we'll have to survive without it. Let us see here. We can still go for some damage here, honestly. Go for this. And we can go for... Is it good to go with both of these? I think we're gonna do this. And... Uh, save one of them. If we draw into a season of growth. Because now might be where we fall, well enough. We don't have any engine to keep going here. But we have a pretty good team of dudes here. And maybe even kill them next turn. I don't know what it does here. Okay. Seems to be mostly removal, this guy. Mostly removal. Okay. Professor Prime. Okay, my turn. Giant Growth, Grimrock Knight. That's some damage. How much damage is it even? Let's see. We put this on. Uh, we put this on. And we put this down. We put that down. Right? God damn it. We just go in. <laughs> we just go in. And yes. On this. I was down to two. And we search for land, of course. Hopefully it doesn't have a board sweep. <laughs> We're in such trouble. Such trouble. Oh, we might, though. Even if it has a board sweep, might find that thing with deals two burn damage or something. If he has it here. Conclave Tribune. Ah, that won't be good enough. Single target removal. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. The Grimrock Knights. Hold him. 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 Memory shout out. Memory shout out. <laughs> thank you everyone so much for watching and a special thank of course to our dear members blue dragon 077 adam alexis ramen noodles for me magic pistol man simon lauer rodney cox herman m agony reborn the soft pillow snick luria stars shamanic spencer hofsty alex mike of nathaniel nissan laser set to stun eric 0234 jeff henry leaning into it santa john michael you Pocky U, Matthias Porley, Toplitz Investments, Cronus 1107, W Lutz, 1978, P, Peter Gold, Strange Brontides, Sean Stevens, Gabriel Juvenal, Tundes, Tundex, Smog JC, Marcus Rutledge, Tim Stokes, Wiza, QD Lady 23, Brian Gutierrez, Amano 84, Seth Hickok, Way, Ian Cusack, Mesamok, Your Old Basses, Dingo Scrub, Orion SSFL, Crew the Barbarian, Link is Week, Rainbird 2002, 4K Television, Across Ascending, July Moonlight Star, Donkey Kong, Wilker Ribero, Jace Unraveler of Secrets, Carlos Martinez, Drake Edge 2000, Dave Steer, Nicholas Zanotti, Jurassic Fart, The Swamp King, Wokia Floren, Rage Notch, Simple Human, Badass Winab, Badass Wanab, <laughs> Aaron Noble, Betsuma, Brandon Dobbs, Callus Dismissal, Sherwood, Caleb, Carlo Palumbo, Dan Goodsell, David Newman, DBK Drummer, Dingo Scrub, Drew Styles, Eventum Tantum, Freeman Stephenson, Jeff Georgia, Kazon, Kip Caster, Magneto, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Piotr Stolarczyk, Pote, Prince Mark Bagauk, Esquire, Rainbow Cake, Serge Karamarov, Wonderbread, and X Covenant X. You guys are amazing! If you also want to become a Dark Disciple, help rule the underworld and all that jazz, then check out either the join button next to the subscribe button or check out my Patreon link in the description. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time. People often ask me, are there other people I need to thank you? And I tell them, these guys, the bad shoulders of Patreon, also needs a thank you. Thank you.